What's up everybody, you run A4, back again here with another action fig review. And we're looking at yet another holy grail of mine for the Jack Specific Dragon Ball line. This is the Dragon Ball GT Shenron No I don't know why they wrote it in Shenron Nova. Anyway, Nova Shenron. Look at the package they put Shenron Nova on the bottom. Weird. But this is Nova Shenron. Uh, with an all new sculpt and retractable wings. Anyways, this is uh, just like the Ice Shenron I reviewed before. So, I did do a review on the blue one, which is the Ice Shenron came in the Trilogy series, came in a different series. Uh, so, they used the same exact figure, just painted it blue, which is just how it was in the show. Anyways, so here it is. This is yet another super rare figure, especially to find in the package. So, big thanks to Noah, the guy I bought it from on Facebook, in case you're watching this. Thanks again, buddy. And this is the one I bought from you. Anyways, so here's the package. I like the package. It's got the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on the back there with Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta right there. And then that's it. So looking at the back of the package, uh, we have the rest of the line here. Let's put it in the center. Funny thing is, is that the promo prototype Nova Shenron on the back looks better because it looks more screen accurate. They actually use a gold paint on the prototype there. Uh, which did not come out on the final product. They just made it yellow, so that sucks. Anyways, the rest of Series 4, which is what this is from, uh, we have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, General Real though, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and then regular Goku right there. Then we have pictures of the Chibis that no one really cared about back then. And then the two packs of Series 7, the Omega Shenron one that I just reviewed recently. Hope you guys enjoy that one. Anyways, I am not opening. This is just like uh, my other reviews. Uh, this is my Mint on Card version. I did manage to finally find one loose. And here he is. Oh my god, this guy's another hard figure to find. Just like Omega. This has to be the second hardest figure to get in this entire Jack Specific line of figures. Seriously, guys. Super rare. Anyways... Here he is. Let's take the mint on card version out of the way and focus on the loose version here. So if you see some minor wear and tear, some scratches on there here and here, which I managed to take off a lot of them. Uh, anyways, if you see them, it's because this is a used copy. I got him loose on eBay. High price, yes, high price. You're not going to get this guy cheap ever, ever, unless you get lucky. Anyways, it's such a beautiful figure. Oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this figure for a while now. I actually never owned this guy when I was a kid, unlike the Omega one. I did own Omega Shenron as a kid, got rid of it, regretted it, and I got him again now. So here's a closer look at him. Uh, I did manage to take some of the scratches off, luckily. they Most of the scratches were like uh, paint from other figures, so all I had to do was rub them off or scratch them off myself. That works. You'd be surprised how that works with just water in your nail and it comes right off. Yeah, kind of weird. So I did not have to paint over anything, thankfully enough. I actually, I couldn't get some of these over here out. You can see some marks there, but uh, you can see it's definitely been used before it's been played with. The toes or the nails on his feet, some of the black is missing. There you can kind of see it a little bit better. Uh, that That's not that big of a deal for me. I could, I could paint that, I guess. You know, it's not that big deal, but... The the one that really bothers me a lot is on the back right here. You can see, you can see the paint that is paint chipped completely off. So you can see the plastic they used was all yellow on the figure. They just painted the purple on. So the back annoys me. That that oh well, you know at least it's on his back. It's not on the front. But I like the figure. They did a good job. Seriously, Jax did a good job. This is one of their original scopes, so they didn't use this off anything else. They made this themselves. It's not from Irwin. Actually, he's got a little bit of a mark on his lip. It's okay. So, it looks good. It's just like Ice Shenron. And just for comparison's sake, of course, I'm going to compare him next to the Ice Shenron. So, let's take a look at... They both look like next to each other. The wings are going to get in the way, but it's okay. Uh, you can see Ice Shenron and Nova there. Exact same figures. Exact same scopes. But they have, like, a different look to them just because of, you know, different colors. Pretty cool, right? So, the plastic they use here was that Marble Ice Sparkly glittery type plastic and that's to sound weird or girly because it's not it looks pretty cool I like that effect even though this blue is not as accurate as it should be and also this yellow isn't as accurate to be completely honest they're both not really accurate to the screen this he should be more goldish but it's okay unless it's a great looking figure they both have the same articulation same poses so you're not going to get much out of them. Like I said, I didn't mention in Omega's review that he had legs going in and out. This one does not. Like I said, Jax didn't really ap apply that articulation piece, except for Omega. So, so that's why I was quite surprised when I saw that. So here we have the head on Swivel goes left and right. It goes up and down a little bit, more down than anything else. 
the arms go forward and back they go in and out there's no bicep swivel there's a single jointed elbow and there is a swivel at the wrist and that's it hands are sculpted like this like a blast effect and then this one's a fist the wings are articulated as well so that's cool they hinge right here on both and then the wings open up on both sides as well and then it's also hard to find this figure with the wings attached too so i was happy to find them with everything included uh the there's an ab crunch that's pretty nicely hidden looks like it's the diaphragm joint but it's an ab crunch swivel at the ab crunch and swivel at well i guess it is the diaphragm joint if it swivels there so it crunches and swivels at the torso swivels at the waist as well legs go forward and back no in and out no thigh swivel there's only a single jointed elbow Angles go forward and back, and there's a swivel, and that's it. Standard basic articulation for back in 2005, 2006, 2004. Uh, this is the articulation that we got, you know, and it was great for back then. Obviously, it's not to the standards now. If someone produces a figure like this now, uh, it would be a riot. <laughs> Very nice. I like it a lot. Seriously, this figure is great. You know, I'm not. I'm not gonna judge it off of today's figures i'm not gonna compare it to today's figures i'm you know as a gt fan and a z fan and just an overall dragon ball fan i'm very happy with this figure i love it a lot uh if you guys have this figure let me know in the comments if you know a lot of people like this figure as well you know this is hard to come by because people don't want to sell it you know it's hard to find someone that's willing to let go of it at a decent price as well because there are some outrageous prices out there uh, for these figures they are valuable you know that's what they're worth now they are worth a lot of money they're rare so it is what it is we all know that there are figures out there that are, are you know cost this much so this is one of them all right and there they all are all three shadow dragons together great group of figures by jack specific i do recommend these guys if you guys can come across them with a you know a decent price you're gonna you're not gonna pay cheap for these guys unless you luck out at a, at a yard sale you know seriously these are these are great figures, you know, for fans of the show and fans of, of you know, that grew up with these figures, you, you guys will understand more so than the people that grew up with figures. They're not really going to understand why these figures are so sought after and all this and that. So, uh, but these figures are great. I think they look great together and I'm happy, extremely happy to have them. Uh, until, oh man, I, I, I highly doubt we'll ever get these in figures form. Unfortunately, it's sad, but I don't see them looking at these at all. And I even in their the rough drafts of figures of upcoming you know i don't i don't think they're thinking about these at all so it's a shame maybe they can prove me wrong hopefully but this, this is what we got i'm happy with these it's a great figure and there's my review so i hope you guys enjoyed the review hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video hit the bell button if you guys want to be notified about my upcoming uploads and hit the subscribe button if you guys have not yet done so already this has been evil 94 thanks for watching keep collecting and don't forget to have a great day bye